without sounding overly confident, I'm gonna smash this. Oh. I don't I don't know how I can say that. Can I handle the ultimate pro rugby endurance test? I hope so. Vibes and welcome back to Tom Versus. Today I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, last week was the five kilometer run, which I, I just nailed it. Ah! Point eight. What a hamster. Okay, and now I've got more to give, so we're going to retest that. And I'm going to go for an 18 minute run. All right. Today it's been requested quite a lot. I'm taking on a pro rugby endurance test. Okay, so what the test is called, it's called the Broncos Rugby Test. It was introduced in New Zealand. New Zealand are good at rugby. They're actually one of the best teams in the world. So they're really fit athletes, big, strong, handsome rugby men. Uh, so yeah, so they introduced the test, they're the best and the fittest. It is a fitness test which rugby teams use all over the world. Can it test your maximal aerobic endurance? It's tough, it's horrible, it's savage. You're only running 1.2 kilometers. Oh, that's easy, 1.2 kilometers. That's what I thought and I've done it a few times. It, it hurts, it hurts a lot. The idea of the test is you're running a shuttles, okay? Do you run out? 20 meters, you run back to the start. You run out 40 meters, you run back to the start. You run out 60 meters, you run back to the start. You complete that five times, no rest, as fast as you can. Obviously they want this test to replicate how you're acting on the rugby pitch. It's testing your agility. You need agility on the rugby pitch to dodge, you know, tackles and stuff like that. See, quick. So the point of this is you're, you're under fatigue, you're changing direction. It's a real test of your agility and your maximal aerobic endurance and speed because you've got to go as fast as you can also stats on this preview i've done a bit of research i want to see if i'm going to be playing with the big boys i want to see if i'm up there with the pros okay i want to see how fit i am okay i uh, did a bit of research richie mccall that hunk he's like one of the best rugby players in the world he got tested in the broncos rugby test and he got a time of 456 i'm a back i used to play rugby i was all right normally on the bench uh, enthusiastic, cheered the boys on, had more fun in the showers. Uh, but yeah, I used to play rugby and I did the test a few times. It's bloody tough. I don't actually remember what I got. But if Richie McCaw, who is a forward, got 456, so I'd like to think I'm a bit more of a whippet, a bit more agile. So I'm going to go for a 440. Tactics today, as I say in a tiger, go as fast as I can. Rah! Rah! And don't stop running till I've completed five rounds of 20. 40, 60. It's gonna hurt. I know it's gonna hurt. I've done it before. It does always hurt. Not really looking forward to it. Preparation this morning for breakfast. I did a six kilometer run. Had me oats. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. The boots are on. I went for racing green today. Led Zeppelin. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. 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 Right. Three. Two.
Where's that guy? I don't, I don't know how I'm going to sound arrogant. It was easy! <laughs> That's so hard. That is such a different type of fitness. That test never gets easier. Um, so it's not like the 5k where you can sort of pace yourself. This 1.2k, you know you've got to get balls out. So to change the direction, you find your pace and you're 20. You turn, you turn. Um, that was good. That has been the Pro Rugby Endurance Challenge. The Broncos, Tom versus, uh, and I'm happy with that time. So if any of you rascals out there want to take that on, try and beat 417, give it a go. Survived. Vibes, we're done, we're done. Sort of heart rate's back to normal now. Because I normally I train a lot, but I don't get myself like, it's more like aerobic, consistent, like, in, you know, like constant breathing. That's just like balls out, can't breathe, dying. It's not the most comfy, is it, Rhiannon? No. Good answer. Uh, now, uh, gonna go for a little gym session, because I've got some really cool gym facilities, so you're not, not gonna chuck some weights around. So, I'm gonna go into the gym now for a bit of upper body stuff. You guys can come if you want. Uh, yeah, we don't wanna hang out too much, but I thought we could hang out and do a little gym session. That's it, really. I'm cold. Let's head in, she's cold. I'm not bloody cold. My nipples are a little bit Ooh. cold, but that test kept me warm. Okay, let's head into the gym, smash a quick sesh, and then head home. Okay, we're back home. Um, we'll have a little chat in a minute. Let's have a quick check-in. We'll have a quick aesthetic check-in. God, look at this. I look awful. And then we'll wrap it up. But check-in time. Let's get naked. Vibes! Okay, this is the current physique of the bowls of air water diet. No, I'm joking. I eat quite a lot. I just train a lot. Uh, leg gang. Not too sure on the body fat percentage, but cardio most days. Feeling good. Lots of energy. Slowly putting on weight. And then it sort of focuses on your face. Oh my gosh, look at that. Technology! Introducing Sally to the new camera. It's a Canon. We love it. 1.2K Broncos rugby test. Richie McCall, eat your heart out, as I've mentioned. Um, gym session just then. I uh, would have liked it to have been a bit longer, a bit more productive, but I was up at 4 a.m. this morning. Yes, 4 a.m. training clients. And then I did a six kilometre run plus that 1.2 kilometre run. So I've covered over seven kilometres today. Haven't eaten enough, uh, and then I expect to try and do a good weight session. So I filmed a bit of it. You saw a bit of it. I wouldn't normally try. I'd probably train a bit more than that, but on the weight side of things. But hey, you do what you got to do. Anyway, that's been another video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much for watching. More challenges to come. Comment below any more uh, challenges that you have for me. I'll do my best, as I always do. <laughs> Riggs, ciao. Bit of a domestic at the moment. Um, Mum and Poppy having a bit of an argument. Basically, gonna get dishes. She got a letter from school saying she has to wear a blazer. She's saying, I ain't wearing a blazer at school. Who wears blazers? Mum's saying, well, we got the letter with the Rice Krispies. You've got to wear a blazer. So we're in the predicament. Oh, I can to say, like, you yeah. naked every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that. So, blazer or no blazer, what do we think? Anyway, let's leave, end the video like that. Not subscribe or like. Let's, Cliffhanger, comment blazer or no blazer. What do you think, Pops? No blazer. No blazer, babe. Ain't gonna <laughs> fit my nails, is it? <laughs>